So, <clears throat> as you can see, I don't know the exact year of it, but uh, we're going to set a pretty good goal for this one. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to build and complete this car. Well, hopefully complete. Should be drivable anyways, is my plan. For uh, the Lone Star Roundup in Texas in spring. I think it's in April when they do that. So, kind of setting a pretty hefty goal there. <laughs> I do have, like a friend of mine gave me this car. And uh, he gave me a couple spare sets of fenders. I know the doors and stuff, because I believe I have some extra doors. Uh, the four doors and this car were the same. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of everything missing. <laughs> I mean, overall, it's, it's not bad. I did use the worst of the stuff that I got to just mock it up here. But yeah, you can see there's, uh, there's not a lot of anything. We kind of tack the doors, everything all in place. The roof is brutal. I thought there was more dash than there is. There's less than I thought. I do for sure have better fenders. This grill was like wall art for the longest time. So it's like Dodge Brothers. So we're going to say this thing's a Dodge. I don't really know at this point. I have to find the tag. Something's going to say something on it. So. We'll kind of go with that, but yeah, this basically is, uh, this is coming up once the snow starts flying. That's kind of the idea. We're going to finish up the, uh, our, uh, Napco clone there. And, uh, depending when the snow starts flying and it gets really cold, I might start driving that before it's completely done. But, uh, and then we can revisit that one come spring, but we have a hefty, hefty bit of time ahead of us I'm kind of the plan for it and that's going to always change loosely right now is I want it bagged I would like it to sit right on the ground um, we're probably going to use an S10 chassis because it's just what I have we'll bag it four link it I want to do an LS I do not know if it'll be boosted or not yet that'll be questionable uh, like I want to I would like it to be boosted, but I don't know if there's enough room, if I'll have really time to do all of that. The reasoning for the LS is why I took the transmission out of my Buick and the, the motor that kind of went bad. I'm going to go through it quick and I want to use that one for it. So I just have the powertrain. It's what I'm going to do. I really would love to turn this into like a three window coupe, but I don't know how that would look. Ideally, I would love like, you know, a 35, six, somewhere that era Ford, but they're just so unaffordable. This just seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> uh, but I do want it to be like a, a pretty mild, well, maybe a heavy custom. I don't know. We'll see. We'll kind of make stuff up as we go. And we're going we're gonna to figure it out. That is the plan. All right. Well, we're going to try this out. Hopefully you guys don't get too sick from this. I'll try to clean this lens a little better. So it seems like it is dirty. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. Well, let's blindly go for a walk here. So in here, I have some fenders and some more parts for the coupe. They've just been, I've just been keeping them. So anyways, I know back there I got a good set of rear fenders. I think I have some front fenders. I have way more fenders out there. So I'm going to kind of pile all of them up. And with any hope, I have a lot of good bits that I can pick through. So the fenders on the car are pretty junky, but I did that on purpose. I didn't want junk out there or the good stuff out there. You can see these ones are for sure Dodge like, so that's good. Uh, so they're pretty specific. So I got these two, which I guess are what I'm going to use. 
guess the filler was in the back. We'll have to fix that. Those are some different fenders altogether. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Just these. We're going to kind of collect everything, put it in a pile. So I have one place to go grab all my stuff when I'm ready to start building it. But uh, we'll grab these first. Then I will run over and we'll check out my other pile. I'll just place those right there for now. The problem is here, I think I have Chevy fenders. And that might be all these are. Oh, dang it. Tripping everywhere here. Some of these are big. See, these are Chevy. 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 Is that like my coupe? These kind of have the same lines on it, don't they? Like it's got that body line in it, so that's telling me that's the right fender. See if this fender has one. No line. It's good to know I forgot I had those. <laughs> They're like Chevy truck fenders. That one looks Chevy because of the way the big step, the running board thing is. Same with this one. Man, I thought I had more stuff. Wow, that one's super rough. Hmm. I'm going to go hunt around. I thought I had more fenders. I wouldn't know where they are now, though, if I did. Maybe I only have the ones on the car. Maybe they're the wrong ones totally. Let's look at the car. Let's see what we got there. Kind of hunting along my row. I don't have any more fenders out there. I have a few right here, but these are Dodge. I know that much. There's a few over here, but I think it's just all international. Possibly some Model A. I think these are 30 something Fords. International and I don't know what else. So nothing in here. These look like Model A-ish. Hmm, thought I had more stuff. Guess not. We'll check the coupe out, see how bad they are. Oh, well, I guess maybe it doesn't have any body lines. I don't know why I thought it did. Hmm. I don't know why I thought I had different doors. I so thought I had better doors. This sucks. <laughs> uh. I for sure thought I had another set of doors with it. Because that side's missing everything. Brutal. Hmm. All right. So these fenders have nothing. They're just boom, go to a stop. They peek out nice. It's got a little bubble on the bottom. I think I'll have to look again at my pile over there. And I really got to look around. I got to find doors. If anything, this one's pretty complete, but that one's missing so much. So much suck. All right. Yeah, let's look. Well, I am stumped. I, uh, just in the barn having a peek, see if I can find more parts, but I don't, I don't have anything. <laughs> I'm for sure I had doors. I don't have those. I have some 
like random fenders and stuff like i like these fenders but i don't know what they're for i i don't think they're for that car well they're not for the car they have some neat shape to it but i don't i have these i have this one fender here that's peaked i like that i think there's one like that out <clears throat> with the fender pile but it seems like a 40s era of car because early 40s anyways the way the, the 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 running board would probably mold into that so i don't know i really don't know that kind of sucks <laughs> I'm gonna have to try to source some more stuff, I guess. I uh, I don't know what to do here. Hey buddy, what says you? It's not much we can do. Uh, I guess we'll dig around. I'm gonna just, I guess, collect a bunch of parts and stuff for it as I can, cause why not? That's what we're gonna have to do, eh? Maybe we'll find a donor. Maybe that's the, uh, the end game. We'll work with that. Anyways, I am going to, I guess, strip some parts and we'll, uh, we'll keep hunting our local uh, Kijiji and uh, Marketplace and see what we can find. We need parts there, bud. It's not going to happen the way it sits. <laughs> All right. I have this caravan and I realized, well... It's the kid's caravan that he's scrapping. But somebody mentioned how these things have weird power windows and they're kind of adaptable to anything. And I'm actually looking at it and it's actually not terrible. I don't know how it fully works. So I'm going to kind of like rip this sucker apart and uh, see if I can use this on the my winter build, my coop there. But just kind of gathering all the parts that I need. So maybe I can put power windows in it. Not that I care for power windows, but I don't know. We're making kind of a ritzy car in my eyes, so let's kind of uh, tear this sucker apart and see if I can use this junk. an interesting setup this is kind of neat too this is the the window channel it's kind of thick but it might be able to use it for like a rubber damper inside I'm not sure though looks a little big so I'm not too worried about it but it doesn't take up much space so I'll keep it I always thought these only had a single rail in the middle but I guess it's got two it's pretty adaptable, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll use it, but for the little bit of effort, I'll take it out and maybe I can use it. I'm not sure. Because, yeah, I went the violent approach. I just smashed the glass. I didn't want to try to deal with trying to get this, wiggle this out or figure out how these all come apart. Yeah, it's got a single cable that runs this whole perimeter thing. And then the glass just sits on here. So I guess you could manipulate this any way you want. Right now it's got an angle to it. But if you needed it just straight up and down, that wouldn't be hard to do at all. I don't know. It's, it's kind of neat. I, for some reason, always thought it was a single, just a single rail. Maybe the older vans were that. I don't know. Anyways, for the five minutes or so it takes, I am just going to smash the other side out really quick and uh, whatever throw out my pile of parts for collection of bits for my coop here. The little parts pile is getting a little bigger. I, uh, well, we got our both window mechs there. I got some switches. I would love to use that swing away column if I can make it work, but 
It's got no tilt, so I'm kind of mixed on that. Um, maybe the seat will work in the coupe. That's from this van also. They do work really well in hot rods, so regardless, it'll get used somewhere. But uh, yeah, just trying to collect everything and trying to think the whole thing through. So I'm sure there's going to be more stuff, but uh, whatever. If I feel it's useful, I can maybe use it down the road. Like I say, I'm not really a power windows guy, but this is pretty ritzy, so I might end up, I don't know. I think the car is going to be kind of fancy, so I'm feeling I want to do some of this stuff to it. Anyways, I'm going to, uh, it's about all I'm getting out of that thing. I think I collected everything I could get. Um, we're going to end up still be, like this, this thing's going to get filled with scrap. That's kind of the idea. Do some cleanup, and as I get garbage in the shop, it'll fill that up. Same with the old caddy there. Anywho, onward we go. Well, pulled the coop out, dragged it up here. We're gonna see how, because uh, it was sitting in the mud. We see how little we have here. <laughs> uh, see, buddy had it, so it turns out the four doors, you can see here the line's different, eh? Man. Man, I don't even know what year this car is. Look at that thing. I'm gonna guesstimate. Like it obviously had a crank out window, stuff like that. Bad roof insert. <laughs> yeah, what a mess. <laughs> we have this very little bit of, not even, just some trunk here, but not that that matters. I'd be bagging it anyway, so this will probably all come out anywho. Well, <clears throat> won't be for a little bit. I'm trying to fix my, get the 55 done yet before we pull this one in, but we're kind of, I was just touching base here to see where the heck I'm at. I, uh, I definitely feel like I am needing a donor because this is just not going to work out in my favor here. Wowzer. It's doable, but oh well. Hey, you got to start somewhere. So I'm having problems finding parts for my car, so I'm uh, going to, we found one locally, a nice four-door coupe, about a 38 which tells me that my car is actually a 38 because it has the same dash in it. So we're gonna go pick it up and hopefully it's, uh, I can use it to kind of goulash my own coupe together.
Well, folks, got some scrap loaded up. What we got is, I think it's a 38 Plymouth. Somebody can probably correct me. I haven't checked the tag or anything yet. Or the title. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would tell me what it is exactly. But, uh, there we go. Oop. All kinds of stuff going on here. We kind of strapped everything down. Didn't want it all coming loose. I don't know what or how anything is. But, we do have what I believe is going to be my donor for my coop. Uh, I got to do some measuring, got to figure out some stuff, but I'm thinking this is going to be, going to be her. It's got all the bits, it's got bumpers, got all that stuff, although this car looks very killer. At least the front does without a bumper, I can tell you that much. I am hoping these lines are pretty close. We'll see. Won't matter too much because my plan is to use from the B pillar forward. I want to use this stuff and then graft in the rear of the other car, the quarters and things, and try to build a coupe with the bigger, like the bigger trunk on it, stuff like that. I like the Fords. I kind of like the three window Fords. That's kind of, I keep referencing that. That's kind of what I want to do. Anyways, you can see how it has this nice roll in the front. I think this would just be. Okay, I like the bumper, but I think it'd be awesome without the, without it also. So, the grill's like not bad. It's pretty good actually, for me. I'll have to fix up a few little things, straighten out a few of them teeth. It looks like a weird fencing mask, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's got some nice lines on the fender. It's got a lot of good, I think, cool stuff going for it. But the big thing is, we'll see, because maybe this is a good chassis to use and we'll clip it, bag it, I don't know. I really don't know where I'm going at right now. I think first steps first, I want to get it beside the other coupe. We're going to see how off everything is and uh, figure stuff out that way. I uh, didn't trust the hood hinges, so I... There we go. The one side of the hood's a little buggered there. The motor, as far as I can tell, is a bit of a lost cause. I mean, maybe I could try to get it running, but I don't plan to run it whatsoever, so I don't see the need. Oh yeah, she's got a lot of stuff growing in there. It's got some good parts and things, so. That part's all right. It's got good bones. That's what we were looking for. Something good to start with. Well, folks, we got both cars here. I knew they were different. I uh, thought they were a little closer in years than they are. But once I've noticed how the dashes were like, well, we got a Plymouth and a Dodge, so whatever. These are different cars altogether. I do dig the front end, like this is super cool. But uh, looking into it more and more, I did do a Photoshop of these together. And the cars are different. This part, is pretty much the same, uh, the distance. But you can see the body line is different in the back. And the coupe there, it comes off shorter and it should have longer fenders. So anyways, doing some more looking, like I knew, like I say, the years were different. Uh, this dash, when I first saw it, I thought it was pretty close to it. But then, then I realized <clears throat> how different the dash is in this car. It's similar, but not. It's because of the two glove boxes. I got that feeling it was the same, but that has a bigger center. It is a Dodge. So in my hunting around, this thing is actually a 35. So, and this is a 38, which in all things is cool, but uh, I'm thinking this thing was just uh, destiny. The grill I had in front, I'll show it to you in a bit here. 
it uh, is actually the right grill for this car. So, yeah. <laughs> and I, I love the grill in this one. But like I say, as you see, I'll Photoshop. I'll do my quick rendering of Photoshop and you'll see this one. If I put it on here, you can see the difference there. It's just not right. So, and then I'm mixed on the three window, five, like five window. I'll give you a bunch of reference to all of them. These are really, really rough sketches. That said, like I say, uh, this car's cool and it needs to be made into something cool, but it's, uh, I don't think I'm going to use it. It's uh, <laughs> hindsight. I think I'm just going to sit and suffer and uh, try to get this one, use what I got and build. It's uh, the, the grill. Like I say, when I look it up, this is the right grill. Switch is weird. I got this from a buddy years and years ago and uh, it just turns out it's the right grill for that car. How crazy is that? So I haven't dug into this much yet. We're waiting for the colder weather. I mean, it's almost here. You can, <laughs> but we're not finished our Napco yet. So yeah, I'm going to be hunting for a lot of stuff. I might steal parts out of here. I did collect some parts, like I could put power windows and stuff like that in here. This is uh, gonna be quite the interesting build. We got lots to do. I really, really just wanted to find a donor front that I could use. But for me to cut this car up, to only use this and this part of the cab, and then not use the fenders and everything. It's just, I don't know. I'm super mixed on this. This is like, it's got the same floating lights, but that particular body style, I'll show you what a 35 looks like. I don't know, I had some fenders in the garage. I'm not 100% sure if they'll work yet, but like I say, uh, a 35 looks like this, like a coupe, and it does look cool as a five window. I'm, uh, I'm just really mixed. I really want a three window. I'm trying to go for this style of car. And uh, like this won't quite cut it. And this is going to hit the right era of that. Anyways, I guess in the end we fumbled around. I got absolutely nothing done. I bought a car I don't need, but we'll make something cool out of it eventually. And uh, we are going to work with this thing. <laughs> so I guess we're going to go back. We're gonna use that chassis that I stripped, seeing how I'm not using anything off of this car right now. I'm gonna go, uh, when we get started, I'll probably send that chassis off, get sandblasted, and then uh, I might do the same to the body, only because it'd be nice to have a clean, clean slate, because we got so much to do on here. Like, so much. We have some structure, but the door framing is like toast. Man, eh? It doesn't even line up with the door. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a good time. Good time. Well, hope you guys are ready for a really big project and a short time to do it. All right. Well, this might be a short video. Hopefully I haven't bored you folks. Uh, I want to thank you folks for watching though. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We're, uh, hopefully we're probably going to start dragging some stuff into the shop here and start tearing things apart. Yeah, maybe not quite yet, but it's going to be soon. Very soon. There's not a lot left on the Napco. So basically giving you a little teaser of our winter project. Hey buddy.